uh, coming in today. I uh, appreciate you taking time out of your busy schedule to come in and make some time to talk about your insurance, something that's very important uh, to myself and, and most likely you as well. Um, I saw that you, you went ahead and you filled out my customer information sheet. Uh, that's something that I have all my clients do and it's, it's really important to um, take a look at you know, what your biggest concern is um, in your insurance and your, and your financial life. Um, so I know you came in to talk today about your auto and your home insurance, um, but we will take a look at this customer information sheet um, shortly. Okay. Uh, one thing that I like to do with my clients is I like to sit down and I really do like to find out a little bit more about themselves and, and them as a person because, you know, with farmers, it's not a transaction-based uh, in insurance plan here. Um, you, we don't come in and you tell us the price you want and we give you the bare bones um, limits without, you know, figuring out who you are and what your needs are. Uh, so what I like to do is, you know, just ask a little bit about yourself. So would you mind telling me about uh, your family? Do you, do you have a family? or? I do. Uh, recently divorced, but uh, yeah, I've got a daughter who's 10 years old and uh, I'm a school teacher here in town over at Lodi and uh, love being out, love, uh, love coaching. I coach a lot of sports and uh, you know, love spending time with my, with my daughter, that's for sure. Oh, that's great. What, what grade did you say you taught? I, I, I'm in high, I teach high school. Oh, okay. And which sports are you, you coaching out there? I coach softball and basketball. Okay. Yeah, so we're out there pretty much every weekend. If you ever need to find me, that's where I'll be. <laughs> okay, so that's what you pretty much do for your, your fun time. I mean, you probably are so busy, you don't have much time to do anything else but teach and take care of that's you know, it. recreation. And that's it. That's all we're, like I said, we're involved in some sort of sporting activity every single day. So keeps it keeps my daughter out of trouble that's for sure that's good and are you coaching your daughter right now yep yep oh. softball and basketball yeah so yeah we enjoy being out there that's for sure oh very good okay well so like i like i said i wanted to go over this customer information sheet with you um so as i see here it looks like you checked one box here and that was retirement so mm -hmm. that's obviously your number one concern so what what concerns you about your retirement well i mean i have my 403b plan through work and you know, my thing is going to be is, you know, with inflation and everything, am I going to have enough money at retirement to just regard, you know, just relying on my pension heavily? I mean, I, I, I just, I, it concerns me being 40 years old. I'm just not sure if, if how much money I'm going to have, you know, and, and making sure that I, my, my expenses, you know, once I've stopped teaching, do I have to go get a job in a retail store just to, just to, just to make ends meet so I can, you know, continue to have a roof over my head? Yeah, that's a big concern of, uh, for most people. Uh, your age and the position that you're in, uh, you know, inflation, it's hard to keep up with inflation. And, and we do have some uh, products here that we can help you uh, keep up with inflation, not only inflation, but help you uh, help with your, your tax consequences that you may have when you retire. Um, so that's something that I could potentially put together some ideas and, and some uh, uh, solutions for you. Great. So with that, um, it may take me a, a few weeks to get something together and we can set up another appointment to discuss those things. But I wanted to ask you a, a few questions um, just so I have an idea of kind of what we're working with and, and, and formulate the best uh, plan of action for you and your, your future retirement. Okay. So at this point, how much money do you have saved for retirement right now? Well, I mean, my pension, I mean, I really have, like I said, my 403B plan has, you know, $230,000 in it. And um, I really don't have anything more than that. That's why I checked that box because I know that a lot of friends are doing other plans and going through a divorce recently. Now I'm starting to get my finances in order. I'd really like to start looking at something to, to help me. Right, right. And your current annual income is? $75,000. $75, okay. And do you plan, when do you, when do you plan on retiring? When would you like to retire? Well, I'd like to retire at 60, so I have 20 more years. Okay. And in order to accomplish your goal, what would you like to uh, be able to retire on and, and have uh, to live off of for the rest of your life when you do retire? I'd really, I'd, I mean, to live comfortably, I would like $5,000 a month tax-free. Okay. And do you have an idea of how much you would like to set aside monthly to try to accomplish that goal? I don't. That's where I, like I said, that's where I need help. I, I, that's not my specialty. My okay. specialty is how to teach kids how to play sports. <laughs> Wonderful. Well, that's something that uh, 
I specialize here in my agency with is I really take on this re retirement planning. Uh, uh, it's, a, it's a big part of my agency. So uh, we, we can put together some things. One thing um, that we may look at is, is doing a, a variable universal life policy because with that, you have post-tax dollars that are, will be going into that um, as opposed to your 403B, which is pre-tax dollars going in. So lots of times what will happen, you get into trouble when you try to retire and you try to um, take that money out as a distribution and you haven't yet to pay taxes on it in your 403B. So you end up, if you want to, say, live with $95,000 um, a year, you're going to have to pull out close to $140,000 just to pay the tax bill to net you that $95,000. Sounds good. Right. You know, I just know nothing about it, Ryan, to be honest. I really don't know what these, what these numbers mean. I just know that my past agent's retiring, and so that's why I'm in the market to find somebody that I can trust to take care of it for me. Start paying you back and become more of an asset instead of an expense to you. Um, and then, of course, uh, with my agency, customer service is, is very um, key in, in our success and um, a great experience for you. So, um, like I said, this isn't uh, a transaction based um, relationship or agency here. So, um, rest assured if we decide to do business today, um, that you will not be forgotten down the road and I won't be out looking for new business and forget about the people that trusted me to take care of their financial picture and, and well-being. So if you ever have any questions or any concerns, uh, feel free to call me and I will always do my best to pick up and if I'm not able to, my assistant will be able to take care of you, uh, but we will get back to you within 24 hours to make sure that um, you're taken care of. Sounds good.
Great. Um, so a little bit about insurance is a lot of people get confused with their insurance and their financial picture. And one of the simplest ways that I found to uh, understand insurance is by looking at a simple analogy of you've worked so hard all your life to, you know, build your income up, you know, raise a family, uh, own your home, and, and, and have your cars, you know, pay for it. And all of that culminates to what I'd like to call your castle. Everything that you worked hard for is building up your castle. And back in medieval times, what did people do to protect their castle? They, they would build a moat or, you know, a wall around it. And that's really what we're trying to do here with insurance. Insurance is going to be your wall around the castle that you have built. So what I'd like to do is build you, you know, a 20 foot by 20 foot wall um, with no holes in it. And that's something that by us sitting down and talking about uh, your insurance program, that's what we're ultimately going to try to accomplish um, but of course, everything needs to stay within the budget um, that you have maybe have came accustomed to or what you can actually afford. And we'll have to look at the differences between um, vital coverages and convenient coverages to help you get the best policy for the best price and get you the best um, value for your insurance dollar. Sounds good. All right. So first thing that we have to do is we have to determine... Um, basically what your net worth is so we know how high to build the castle. So let me ask you, um, you actually already did tell me that you make $75,000 a year, correct? correct? Okay. And you do own your home? Correct. Okay. And do you know uh, the market value on your home? Uh, 500000 Okay. And what's your mortgage left on that? Uh, three hundred and fifty. Do you have any rental properties? No. Okay. So that leaves you, leaves you with um, equity of $150,000 um, in your home. Mm-hmm. Um, and onto your income, if you make $75,000 a year, uh, one thing you may not know is that in California, it's a wage garnishing state. So if you happen to get into an accident and it's your fault um, and you cause bodily harm to someone, and there's not enough uh, insurance coverage on your current policy to take care of it, you could be liable for the rest of it. Ouch. Yeah. So in, in San Joaquin County, just to give you an idea, uh, there's 42, uh, a typical moderate accident, um, you know, fender bender that c- could result in maybe a broken leg. Um, after everything's all said and done, the ambulance ride and, and the time spent in the hospital for x-rays, uh, and casting the leg and whatnot, a little bit of rehabilitation, it comes out to about $42,000 of a fixed cost. Now that's just for the bodily injury that you did to that person. Now I'm sure you've, you've noticed that on uh, daytime television there's a lot of personal injury attorney lawyers advertising. And, and they know that there's money in insurance. And if one of those attorneys gets involved in this case, um, that's when the pain and suffering charges can come into account. And pain and suffering charges, they typically say it's about three times the fixed cost. So you could be looking for a moderate accident if a, a lawyer gets involved um, for you know a good $150,000, $200,000 judgment that would be against you. Now your policy right now, you have $100,000 uh, bodily injury per person. So that means your insurance company would pay out that $100,000 and you could potentially be on the hook for the other $100,000. Now, the only way that they could get that $100,000 from you would be uh, one of two things. Trying to seize your personal property, which would be your home or, um, or your autos. Or Do you have, do you, do you have um, equity in your autos right now? Are they paid yeah, off? Yeah, they're paid off. Okay. So what would you say the value of, of your autos? 20000 okay. And do you have a gun collection or no. jewelry collection? Anything no. Of that sort? Do you have some computers? Yeah. Just regular laptop and a desktop, nothing crazy. Okay. Maybe a couple thousand dollars worth yep. there. Okay. So that would leave us with 22000 Not going to be enough to pay off the bill. And then they'd have to come take a look at your home and see if they could seize that. But say if it, it got even worse than that and you actually uh, 
paralyzed someone or killed them. Um, the average lawsuit in California is, is a $500,000 um, settled against you for that type of incident. So in that case, if you didn't have enough personal property to take care of it, they would start looking at your income because California is a wage garnishment state. So your $75,000, they could take a third of that for up to 10 years to try to settle that uh, judgment against you. So your income and your ability to make income is your most important asset, and that's what we're trying to protect here. So to find out what your income at risk would be, we would have to take the $75,000, um, we'd multiply it by 10 years because that's what they can take up to, and then take a third of that, okay. which would come out to... $250,000. Now, uh, like I said before, I, I do specialize in retirement and, and savings advice. So, do you have any qualified accounts? Um, you just mentioned your 403B. 403B, and that was it. That was it. Okay. And you had 210000 Yep. You said? Now, those cannot be attacked in a lawsuit, but i just like to know about those so I can advise you on those in the future. Okay. Um, now, what also can be um, garnished in a lawsuit would be uh, any non-qualified account. So, do you have any stocks or mutual funds? No. And uh, any annuities or CDs? Nope. All right. And how much uh, do you carry in your, your savings account on a, a monthly basis? Eight to 10000 And do you have any life insurance currently? I do. I have it through work. Oh, okay. So most likely that's a term policy. Yeah. Okay. So now all we have to do is total up um, your assets at risk here, and we'll find out what type of policy that we should be offering you. So we take your your uh, your home equity, which would be one hundred fifty thousand, uh, plus your income at risk, two hundred fifty thousand, plus your rest of your personal property, um, and also what you keep in your savings, which totals four hundred and thirty-two thousand dollars of your assets that are potentially at risk that we need to cover. So we need to build that wall four hundred thirty-two thousand dollars high. Okay. Okay. I probably am not going to be able to afford this. That might be something that uh, you would think, but the cost of insurance with, with farmers, um, we actually take our uh, insurance that, that we provide and we, we put it into a, pa a package type deal. So you're always going to get a better rate with farmers, um, being that we're a multi-line company where we can bundle your auto and your home and your life insurance all together. And we can make... Uh, your, your insurance coverage, very afford, affordable. Okay. And there's two things that you, like I mentioned before, that we really need to look at. And that are, um, in particular, let's start with your auto insurance. There's convenient coverages and vital coverages. Now, when it comes to those coverages, the, the most important coverage on your auto policy is your bodily injury and your, your liability portion of your policy. And that's what we want to be at $432,000. Okay. So what I have suggested for you is $250,000 per person, $500,000 per accident, and $100,000 property damage. Um, so if there is a lawsuit against you, you can rest assured that Farmers is going to pay that big, uh, that big judgment against you as opposed to you having to pay that. And you just need to pay your monthly bills. Okay. Okay. Now you also have um, what we call... Uh, full coverage, and that would be uh, comprehensive and collision coverage. And with that, uh, I've, I've provided you with a thousand dollar or five hundred dollar deductible, and and that would be the same for both your comprehensive and collision. Do you understand what comprehensive and collision is? I do. Okay, very good. And additionally, uh, Another very important coverage, which I would classify as vital, and it definitely is, is your uninsured motorist coverage. And that protects you against anybody that doesn't have insurance or doesn't have enough insurance. And as you know, as you probably expect, that 
people in California, many people are running around now without insurance or not enough insurance. So we want to protect your family and you, and you in case of an accident. So if you get hit by somebody and doesn't have enough insurance, um, you can actually use your policy limits to pay for your bodily injury instead of having to go through a long, drawn-out process of a lawsuit with them. Does that sound good to you? Yeah. Okay. Uh, we also have, like I said, some very unique coverages when it comes to farmers, and that's going to be um, your, your glass coverage that we offer here. So with that, um, if you ever get a chip in your windshield, um, you can go to any place that fixes windshields or a car wash, and they'll fix that for free. Additionally, if it's a, a more severe crack in your windshield or someone breaks in your side uh, window, you'll be able to um, call me, and the most you would have to pay is $100 for your, uh, a brand new windshield to be installed and guaranteed. Um, and I have some relationships with glass companies in town where they'll waive the $50 of that deductible, so you'd be looking at only $50 to get a brand new windshield installed. Wow. Yeah. And then we also have a towing and roadside service. I don't know if that's something that you're interested in. Um, yeah. Okay. And that would cover $150 worth of towing and roadside service. Um, and there's no limit. You're a good driver. I ran your motor vehicle report. So um, you could use that as many times as you see fit to get you out of the jam. Okay. 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 So... With that, um, I, pr I uh, proposed a, a package here for you that includes your auto insurance and your home insurance. Now, did you have any questions about your home insurance? No. Uh, what I mean, replacement costs or something like that, I know that that's, that's one of the things in liability. Those are the two things I was told to look out for my homeowners, make sure there's enough coverage in those two buckets. Yes, definitely. So... Lots of times people um, get confused on what they're trying to insure their home for. Um, a lot of people try to insure for the market value or, uh, you know, what they paid for it. Um, but what we do at Farmers is we insure it for the reconstruction costs because that's really the only number that you would want to be concerned with. Because, as you know, the markets can go up and down and your house may be worth 200000 one day and it may be worth 500000 the next. So all we care about as an insurance company is making sure we have all the specifications of your home. So as I talked to you over the phone, you told me a lot about uh, your home and the inside of them, that you have primarily wood floors, a little bit of ceramic tile. Um, you have uh, an island kitchen with a granite countertop. Uh, you have some crown molding ar ar around the, the home. And that's something that uh, I put into uh, a reconstruction cost estimator. And we use a company called Marshall Swift that is, uh, is, is very well known for giving us accurate estimates on what it costs to rebuild a home. So all that information put in, um, it will cover for the cost of labor, the cost of material, um, the debris removal. If the house burns down, we're going to have to clear out all that debris and get a, a clear foundation to rebuild for you. Um, additionally, your architectural fees um, to, to hire an architect to redesign the home the way you had it. So with all that calculated into it, we're coming out with a, a reconstruction cost of $241,000 for your home. Okay. Does that sound appropriate? That, I have it insured for $235,000 right now, so that's right within line where I'm at today. Very good. Very good. And then, of course, with your personal liability, um, that's something that's going to protect you if you happen to have friends and family over or you're having a party at your house and someone slips and falls. They could potentially sue you. Um, for bodily harm that could happen on your premises. Uh, so that's what we want to um, have some coverage there for to protect you in case of a lawsuit. And right now we have that at $300,000. Um, with, with your limits, I, I would suggest that we would look into an umbrella and that would give you an extended amount of coverage on both your home and your uh, automobile insurance to have uh, a million plus your underlying liability limits which with your auto would be 500000 and with your home would be 300000 So it would give you a total of $1.5 million on your auto and a total of $1.3 million on your home. And that the nice thing about farmers as well is that our personal liability coverage and as well as our personal property coverage is covered anywhere in the world. So if you're on a vacation in Mexico and you happen to be on a jet ski and hurt someone, if they try to see you, 
um, you'll have coverage on your home for that um, instance. And if they try to steal your stuff while you're out on the beach, um, you'll have coverage through your homeowner's policy with farmers. Okay. So now I'd like to um, present this quote to you. Um, right now, as you can see, for your auto insurance, your total annual premium with us will be $1,792. Um, you were currently paying $1,760 um, with State Farm. Okay. Now, we've included you had liability limits of 100 300 100 And, of course, after doing our, our review with you, we found out that you had uh, more assets that would be exposed um, in an accident where it would be more appropriate for you to have limits of 250000 500000 now, additionally, we have matched the $500 deductibles that you had there. Um, we have given you glass coverage, which you did not have there. Um, and we've matched towing and roadside. Okay? Does that sound something like you can afford? Yeah, yeah. It's within the line, and it's way more coverage. That sounds good. No, oh, great. And if anything else comes up down the road, we can always um, look at additional coverages to help offset that cost, maybe increase the deductible if we need to save some additional money down the road. Um, because we do have a great coverage called loss of use that can help with that. Okay. Okay. Um, and then in regards to your home, um, we're actually going to be saving you money there. Um, but the thing is, is we're offering a $2,500 deductible as opposed to a $1,000 deductible with your other company. Okay. Do you understand why that would be? Or are you comfortable with a $2,500 deductible? Well, I've never submitted a homeowner's claim, so... I guess if I submitted a lot of them, it would make sense to carry a low one. But since I never do it, you said it's going to save me money? Yes, it's going to save you money. So I'm on the hook for the first $2,500. Is that what you're telling me? And then you're on the hook for the rest? Correct. Correct. Okay. And okay. the way that would work is you want to think of deductibles on your home as different than your auto insurance. If you had a claim with your auto and you had a $500 deductible, of course you'd have to come up with that $500 first before we'd fix your car. Now with your home insurance... That deductible will just come out of the settlement check that we give you. So you won't have to come up with that $2,500 before we pay you to help rebuild your home. If we give you $241,000 for your home, we'll just minus $2,500 off of that. And typically there's ample to rebuild the home with that. Okay. Okay. Now, additionally, uh, we did mention the life insurance, so I did want to take a time to, right now. Um, I know you said you were limited on time. So what would be a good day to have an, another appointment to talk specifically about your life insurance and your retirement needs? Well, Tuesdays, I don't have to go in until 11 o'clock, so Tuesday morning at 9 or 10 would work good for me. Wonderful. Well, let's do, uh, let's do a 9 a.m. Okay. So I would just need you to sign this information when we finish here. Uh, but like I said, what I wanted to also let you know is, is how I get paid. And I really appreciate you um, deciding to do business with me today. And I hope that I've, I've um, showed value to you and, and helped uncover some holes in that wall that you had around your castle before. Um, and now that you can feel very confident out on the road if anything hap is to happen to you and you have an accident, that you're going to be covered and we're protecting everything that you worked hard for and you pay your your monthly premium and farmers will take care of the rest um, so what I'd like to do is ask you do you have any friends or family um, that would benefit from this type of um, service that I provided you today well I mean my sister's a school teacher too and overall it looks like you saved me some money so probably makes sense to try to get her to save some money with better protection uh yeah sure i could definitely give you her name yeah that that would be great i really appreciate that and um you know you brought up a very good point one of the reasons we were able to save you money is because we were able to give you an affinity discount we call it um basically a discount for being uh, a teacher so there's many professional discounts here and i'll provide you with a piece of paper um to take home with you that will outline all the professions that can save them money on their insurance so those are great referrals for me um, and that helps grow my my book of business because I get small I get paid a really small fee um, to take care of your existing policy 
but the way I really grow my business and, and make a living for my family is by dealing with quality people as yourself and, and having referrals um, given from there so I can grow my business. Well, that sounds good. Her name is Chris Lemus, and her number is 209-482-1212. Wonderful. I'll reach out to her, reach out to her uh, tomorrow and just uh, introduce myself and uh, see if I can offer her my services. Sounds great, great, Ryan. I appreciate it. You're very welcome. Thanks for coming in today, and we'll take care of all this right now. All right. Sounds good. Thank you. <laughs> all right.